this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves around this journey to love. And so um, this is the second part of today's message and I share all the guidance I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves are all helping us on this crazy journey into uplifting our souls into more and more love and setting our spirits free. And today it is all about this, in this first message this morning I was saying, put yourself into your love bubble and imagine every day that you put yourself into a bubble full of the energy for your union. And the more that you do that, the more that you start your intent with every day um, with the affirmations of, I am putting in the energy, I am the energy of my union, I know that everything I think, do, feel, say, breathe the air that I breathe the water that I drink the everything is is bringing me closer to my union and is elevating my soul into my true free spirit these sorts of things will create an energetic bubble around you that literally attracts you attracts things to you and basically is like a little carriage of divine light that you go around your day in and so, um, the more you do that, the more you can really, really settle into a place of peace and tranquility for your journey, because you do know then that anything that comes your way, you can look at it objectively and say, okay, well, I realise that this is coming to teach me something for my soul growth. So it allows you to be more kind of objective about things and not get like so crazy emotional about it um, and if emotions come up then really enjoy them because they you know that that's also something that's been coming up to be let go of and so always kind of like but always you know do things that make you feel good you know go for a walk go hug a tree go you know do whatever makes you feel good now what I'm going to share is a letter that I channeled to somebody and so, uh, you know, and it's all about the love bubble, <laughs> which is why um, this has come up recently. So um, I'm going to read the letter. This is a letter channeled, uh, she asked me to channel a letter from her twin. And so the message is, I love you. I always have, always will, always will be tied to you by our love bond. By our love bubble that we are in. We are never not in our love bubble. That's the challenge. The challenge is to remember that we have been together since we were created together as divine sparks of fairy dust and divine light. Believe in the magic. Believe in our divine destiny. Believe in our love bubble. Don't let our love bubble burst or get flat. Don't let the air go out of it. Breathe life into our love bubble by believing and sending it love. Sending love to us every day. Feel the love bubble around you when you go to sleep at night. Feel my arms cocooning you, gently caressing your arms and your neck. Trust that our energetic bubble is lifting us home. Okay, so... Right? So that's the message from her twin to her. Now, her response back to me, and this is what I mean by, you know, I get emails like this every day, which sends shivers down me because I can see the telepathic connection getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So she says, regarding the channeled message from my twin, let me tell you that it is not just a beautiful letter, as you said in your last email, to me, it is more than wonderful, and I will tell you why. The reason number one is because that he mentioned the word bubble within it. And that's exactly what I've been doing within the, within the last three months, which is, I use a, a, a relationships improvement meditation, and the instructions that I've been following during it are that I must imagine us, me and my twin, standing inside a transparent green love bubble hugging each other and receiving an unconditional love energy that has been sent to us while we are inside the bubble from Archangel Raphael. So again, that's a tip. 
imagine in, when you're getting into your carriage in the morning in your love bubble it's either green or gold or iridescent like this one then you get all the angels looking after you and recently I stopped practicing this meditation because I was so pissed off at my twin <laughs> I mean just brilliant due to certain actions that he has done but the most surprising and touching thing to me was hearing him mentioning the bubble thing within the letter because I have never ever thought or imagined that he will be aware of me doing this meditation and sending us this unconditional love energy. I am extremely surprised by this in a good way that, that I decided to go back to practicing this meditation as he was asking me to do. And another thing that has made my day was him talking about the divine tie and the bond that we both are bonded with because I have literally told him that we are both tied together by a divine tie and a sacred bond even since before we were born explaining the twin flame concept to him when I found out that we were twin flames three months ago which is exactly what has been mentioned within this letter. I can't even thank you enough for bringing this uplifting, amazing letter to my world because it has really made my day and will do the same effect in my coming days because I was so depressed and angry at him this last period of time. So thank you so much for positively changing my mood. One last thing, I will follow his instructions and do everything that he has asked me to do within this letter. <laughs> so, you know, what's so great is that you know, firstly, that he's telling her, and the other thing is, remember, your, your, your soul, you know, you are basically, if you imagine this heart, right, the heart has actually two um, halves to it, doesn't it? But this is your, uh, this is your soul, right? So your so this is your, you and your twin, so when I'm tapping into, this is your collective energy field, right? So whatever you're sending to your energy field, if you're filling this bubble full of love all the time, and you're, they're feeling it, because that's the thing, because you're one collective energy. And so that's why on this journey, it is so important to realize that you're doing this journey together to helping each side is helping each other to elevate and lift the bubble higher. And so that thing where she said, I was so pissed off with him that I stopped doing everything. Well, that's what's so lovely about the letter then, because he was saying, but I felt everything you were doing. So carry on, please, 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 please carry on. Because by elevating herself, you don't, you can't elevate half of the heart without this half coming along too, right? And so that's the thing. Always, always trust that whatever you're doing energetically and filling your energy field with love and, you know, golden energies and positive affirmations and... I am the energy of my union. I am the vibration of love. I am the vibration of pure love and light. I am living my divine destiny. I am the energy of my divine de destiny. You know, all of these things, you imagine yourself in a bubble with your twin like this and fill it with everything that you want every day. But it's a daily practice, right? That's the thing. It's not something that you do once and then you think, all oh, right, well, next week I'm going to come into union with my twin. No, it's like, it's like every day you do, you know, it becomes a way of life, to be honest. It comes like, it's not just every day. It's like almost every moment because you're constantly affirming your energy field with what you want your energy field to be. Because that's the, that's the thing. Don't forget that this is an energetic journey to lift your spirit, right? Um, we are spiritual beings living and trying to live the most human, to make the best out of this human experience. But first and foremost, we are spirit. And so we're trying, really, with this Twin Flame journey, we're really trying to bring that spirit into physical to bring our, you know, to really live out our spiritual destiny in this lifetime right our soul destiny in this lifetime 
So therefore, the more that you fill your energy bubble full of the affirmations of what you, you want your life to be, the more you attract that energy to you. And that's why that letter from her twin's higher self was perfect, because basically it was confirming to her everything that she'd been doing, he was feeling. Because, you know, I had absolutely no idea that that's what she was doing, but it was exactly what the letter said. So I'm going to read the letter again, because again, it's guidance for everyone. So, I love you, always have, always will, always will be tied to you by our love bond by our love bubble that we are in. We are never not in our love bubble. That's the challenge. The challenge is to remember that we have been together since we were created together as divine sparks of fairy dust and divine light. Believe in the magic. Believe in our divine destiny. Believe in our love bubble. Don't let our love bubble burst or get flat. Don't let the air go out of it. Breathe life into our love bubble by believing and sending it love. Sending love to us every day. Feel the love bubble around you when you go to sleep at night. Feel my arms cocooning you, gently caressing your arms and your neck. Trust that our energetic bubble is lifting us home. Well, there you go. That's the message for today. Remember, you are two halves of the same energetic body. So the more that you fill your energetic bubble with intent every single day, the more that you know that you are lifting each other up, up and up. And then really, it, you know, in reference to the first message today about what happens about other people and things like that, if you are setting that intent every day for, for your union to be stepping forward further and further into your union and filling this bubble, then actually anything that comes across your path will be, you know, fulfilling that destiny. So you can trust, 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 trust in your journey because everyone's journey will be different. You know, some people might have to go through a number of partners before getting to their twin in the end. It really does depend. It depends on your soul journey, your soul destiny, your soul growth, what you need to do before, you know, and all of that is beautiful, you know, like there's nothing less than anything else. We are all on this unbelievable journey to elevate your soul and elevate and free your spirit. And whoever comes into your life to help you do that is an amazing, amazing gift. So see it like that. And, you know, your twin flame is one part of that incredible journey. So trust, trust, trust on your journey and put yourself into a gorgeous little love bubble every day. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.